Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to another installment of Follow My Lead, the show that allows you, the fan, to uh, have an idea of the backstories and all the stuff that was going on in my head and in my spirit and in my voice on the songs that I have sung lead on, on different Take Six albums and projects. And um, it's an interesting uh, trek down memory lane because for me, a lot of these songs, I haven't really listened to five, 10, some of them 20 or so years or so. So for me to be doing this show, it's interesting because I'm having to get back into that headspace and have an idea or at least try to figure out or remember what was happening. So without further ado, this particular episode is about the song, A Quiet Place. And this song uh, comes from the 1988 debut album that takes six did for Warner Brothers Records. Now let me give you a little bit of uh, backstory on the song itself. So I knew this song or had heard this song many, many times uh, before we actually recorded it because sometime in the probably early 70s or so, I remember my family would go to my grandparents' house in Buffalo and my grandfather was a huge Ralph Carmichael fan. Ralph Carmichael wrote the song, I believe, in sometime in the 60s. And so we would go to their house and all of these amazing albums would be playing and they were jazzy and they had all these chords and everything. And A Quiet Place was one of those songs. And so I knew it from then and knew I loved that song. So when we decided to do it, oh man, it was a wrap because we all loved that song. And I still love that song 32, 33 years later. And um, so let me talk about the song itself. So interestingly enough, I will be honest with you about something. When I did the lead vocal on that song, I don't know why I didn't decide to just do it in my full falsetto voice. For whatever reason, I decided to do it in more of my upper head voice and almost full voice. And for many, many years, I absolutely hated the way that sounded. I really did. When I regard it small, oh, around a mountain tall. Yeah, yeah, I can still get there. I can still get there. But yeah, I didn't really like the way that sounded. And it wasn't until maybe just a few years ago that as I listened to it and got further and further away from it, I realized that for whatever reason, it needed that and not my smooth falsetto voice because it needed some kind of energy that I suppose I decided to do in the moment. It was a natural thing. It was something that, uh, it was authentic in the moment, which is what I try to coach my students when I'm, when I'm giving them voice and style lessons. It's about authenticity. It's about what's happening in the moment. And I suppose that's what happened with that song is that I decided, you know what? I'm gonna give it as much power as I can right now because I think that's what it needs. But I'll be honest with you, I hated the way it sounded. And so I'll get more into that on subsequent episodes. But what I do know is apparently I'm not able to be very objective when it comes to the songs that I've done and listening to them right away and divorcing myself from what I think it sounds like as opposed to what it is I feel and think it needs. But that's kind of my backstory on A Quiet Place. And so go check it out and you'll hear what I'm talking about. And hopefully it's a song that you like and love. It's a song that I know I absolutely love. Here's the other thing. So we originally recorded it in the key of D. And then we started singing it in D flat because, well, I decided I really couldn't sing that high anymore. But for whatever reason, I think I can go back to D. Don't tell the other guys. Later. <laughs> 